effort to attract new businesses and new jobs in Alabama is met with bipartisan support. A package of four bills commonly referred to as the game plan was the focus of a House committee today, which gave it a favorable report. Originally proposed by Governor Kay Ivey, the legislation would renew current economic incentives and improve the state's business climate. Joining us live at the State House with the update, WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis. Aaron, tell us more. Well, Mark, all four of these bills are sort of a continuum of bills to help improve Alabama's economy. Leaders, you know, want to create more high paying jobs and attract more businesses to the state. Leaders say the game plan will create incentives around the state. These incentives are really creating a positive return flow of new tax sources and new revenue tax flows that inure to the benefit of our education uh, as well as to local communities where these projects locate. Rural Alabamians will benefit greatly from the economic growth. Representative Fort's district includes Barber County. He says his constituents want more opportunity. Mr. Ford, when y'all gonna get us a job? When y'all gonna get us some job now? We're tired of going to the fast food. We're tired of working at the fast food. Part of the game plan is to create a site development grant program so there is land for businesses to relocate and grow. To relocate to a community and quickly set up shop. This is especially important to small community. The plan also includes creating the Innovating Alabama Tax Credit Program for organizations that create, operate, or support programs relating to technology. All companies that have 75% of their employees in the state, but also within a year, uh, their um, executives, a uh, large percentage of their executives will have to reside in Alabama in order to qualify for uh, funding. Lastly, they want Alabamians to know what is happening with the state's business deals by requiring the Department of Commerce to post that information online. We want to build trust and the best way to build trust is to share that information publicly. Now, the game plan does have bipartisan support, Mark and Val, so we can expect the same results we saw in committee to happen tomorrow morning on the House floor. All right, thanks for following it for us, Aaron. We appreciate it.